Warren Buffett made his fortunes from stock trading and Bill Gates from Microsoft, but what about the man who became a millionaire simply from selling rocks to the average Joe? Well this is the story of a copywriter called Gary Dow and his stormy journey from rags to riches and his eventual death. This tale will make you understand the sheer power of marketing and why it's so important to you as a graphic designer. With the way the design industry is going, learning how to prototype is a no-brainer. Instead of putting flat files in front of your team, manager or client, imagine being able to hand them a prototype that's so good it feels like a real app or website. So this story, like many good stories, starts in a bar after numerous drinks had been consumed. The location was Los Gatos in California and it was the mid 1970s. Gary was listening to a conversation his friends were having at the bar. They were complaining about their pets and how they would make such a mess, chew the furniture and drain their bank accounts due to veterinary fees. In a mildly drunken manner, Gary joked that the perfect pet is obviously a rock. Pet rocks were the way to go. This somewhat jokingly and random remark would put into motion the journey to millions of dollars for Gary. But of course, that wasn't obvious to him at that moment. Gary's random comment gave him a light bulb moment, a million dollar light bulb moment. What if he could sell pet rocks to people equipped with instructions on how to look after and take care of those rocks? Maybe, just maybe, the novelty could really take off. He mused over this while continuing his drinks, and for most of us, that is where things would have stopped. We'd go home, sleep, and then just wake up without ever pursuing this any further. But that's where Gary differs from most people. Marketing, by and large, is just the art or the skill of selling something to somebody, something they don't actually need in their life. You don't need those expensive trainers or that 2021 edition new bag, but you are persuaded and almost tricked into buying it for whatever reason or reasons. Sure, you might need some shoes or a bag, but why do you need the expensive on-brand trainers? This is how Gary managed to push deadweight rocks onto people. He purchased them for around one penny each in Mexico in large quantities, and then set about working on the most crucial aspect of the operation, the marketing. Now he wanted to convey a cute and a rustic approach where buyers would have the notion that the rocks were actually living beings. A neat cardboard home was fashioned with air holes and that was coupled with straw lining on the floor to kind of cushion the rock in its home. Every single rock was delivered with a manual on how to take care of it and also found in the manual with jokes and kind of witty or cute affections linked to that rock. The buyer, of course, knew these rocks were completely useless and they served no purpose. It was just simply a gimmick, and yet it surely gave way to smiles and conversations among groups of friends. In the words of Gary himself, you might say we've packaged a sense of humour, and that is what you're doing here, you're essentially buying emotion wrapped up in a novelty gimmick. So considering each rock cost Gary around one penny, and the cost of the packaging wasn't that much either, he sold the pet rocks at $3.95 each. Back in the mid 70s would have been around $18 in today's money factoring in inflation. Gary sold a staggering 1.5 million rocks just in the first few months after the conception of the idea. And this brought on a sudden wealth that made Gary Dow a millionaire. Now it would be lovely if this was the end of the story and where things kind of just finished and concluded, but that's not the case and things did take a turn for the worse. To ensure Gary's idea and operation did get into full swing early on, he managed to bring on board two main investors. Now the problem was that even though Gary had trademarked his product name, numerous people saw the success of selling literal rocks to people, and so subsequent copycats started to appear all over the place. These two investors felt like they were not compensated enough and had lost capital in this situation. So they filed a lawsuit against Gary which netted them a six figure amount of money. This was a huge setback to Gary but he wasn't down yet, he still had things to come. That brain of his was in overdrive and he attempted some additional ideas for projects. These included mail order college degrees for the pet rocks, a sand breeding kit, whatever that means, and even the sale of red china dirt. 
he literally planned to smuggle dirt from mainland China and then sell it to Americans back home. Every project idea he attempted and put into motion failed. These new novelties failed to take a hold like their initial pet rock idea, and considering the number of copycat products out there, it was no viable way to make more millions. But Gary was still not finished. He didn't lose all of that money in the lawsuits with his investors, he still had a sizable amount of capital at his disposal. Instead of trying to push something onto someone that was essentially useless, he decided to open up his very own bar in Los Gatos, and it was called Carrie's Nations. But this wasn't his crowning achievement. He went on to create an advertising and writing agency that created, produced, and wrote commercials for TV and radio. His agency garnered thousands of projects, and it became a very lucrative thing indeed. You see, Gary's know-how of advertising and marketing was obviously way, way up there. He was able to make millions by selling useless rocks to people, and then went on to create a successful advertising agency. On the 23rd of March 2015, Gary Dow died in Jacksonville, Oregon from a major pulmonary disease. He owned two homes and he did well for himself in the end, and when he did die, he was the ripe old age of 75. So that's how powerful marketing can be. You can literally sell rocks that serve no purpose at all to people and make a sweet, sweet profit on the side. Sometimes in life it does take these out of the box methods where you simply put something like a rock into a box. The sponsor of today's video, Framer, is a no code, free to use tool making it easy for anyone to become a prototyper. Now their mission is to help you get closer for real. Create your own smart components complete with multiple states without any code, as well as drop in pre-built components with the insert menu and make your own delightful custom animations 100% visually. So in just a couple of hours, you could have a new skill that helps you stand out from the crowd. Sign up to Framer for free at framer.com forward slash Satori Graphics. And that link is down in the description box below.